If after you create your room plan, which is a floor plan, overhead, wall, wall with this hole carved into it using a boolean function, removing front from back, and reusing this shape to create the window frame. Now that each layer has been saved out as an SVG, not exported, but saved, this way it keeps the proportion between the various layers because they're all saved out with the same artboard. Follow the usual ways for taking SVG in a 3D application, converting it into a 3D object. In Maya, click the SVG button, select import, locate those SVGs, select the floor, click on open, rotate this object, hold down J key as you rotate it here, import the next object, and this will be the wall. The purpose of this is to show you how things will line up. And now you're just dragging down these building blocks of your room. I'm going to thin out the extrusion for both the floor and this wall, geometry, and find extrusion and decrease the extrusion distance. I'll do the same thing for the wall. Make sure you check out the other views when you're done see that it lines up and then you can pop back into the perspective so nicely fitting floor to wall so i'm going to import the window next we just created the window itself you might want to pop this window through the wall give it a little thickness let me make it a little more Zooming in to this view, extrusion distance, pop over to the wire frame mode, easier to see things, press, press the D key to lift up the manipulator, this way the manipulator is a little more local, I don't have to zoom out in order to move this object, this seems good, let me check it from the side view, D key again, to move the manipulator horizontally into the middle of the window. And now fit the window. Go right click, assign a new material to this. And that material will be AI standard surface shader. And I'll just give it the color blue. The rest would be screening wall and ceiling based upon the plan view. Luckily though, the ceiling is this, so it's really about putting trim around the ceiling. If you haven't noticed, floors and ceilings are very closely related. So, dragging this one up here, I'm going to duplicate this trim. Let me make sure it goes all the way to the edge. Could duplicate it. So there's my clone. Shift, drag, making sure I'm rotating on this axis, J key. Now it's lined up, pushing it to the ceiling. If you want a little variety, you could scale it. You can move the vertices around. Let's say this will be a shot of our room. Continue adding some of the structure to this. Maybe there's a column here or little things like outlets, filling up the room with furniture and other little interesting clutter pieces. And then the next step would be to add textures to really make this room pop out. 